the word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly punished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. What a great privilege it is for us to serve this great Lord, to the praise of the glory of His grace. He has called us not to waste our time in the further sayings of those men who don't have understanding, not to waste our time upon the worldly things, but rather he has instructed through Apostle Paul in Timothy chapter 1 in the first verse of the first epistle that we have to go on for the edification, edification of God. Edification of God is nothing but you sabaya, the true spiritual life. Edification of the spirit is nothing but to help us to understand the protocol plan of God. Furthermore, edification demands that you as a believer in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ seek that servant who can really be your supervisor in telling to you and giving you the conditions pertaining to sound doctrine. If they are not pertaining you to sound doctrine, you are never going to come the reality of the word. Therefore, in Second Timothy also we have a great admonition so that we can understand what we ought to be and what we are not to be. And we have to be here to explain the word of the truth more specifically, more clearly, and more accurately. All this to be done to the love that we have towards Christ and the love that we are having towards our fellow brethren. Therefore, dear brethren, think over these issues as we shall come back and continue in the next tape. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship with through the word. We pray that I got the whole spirit and not all these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge, sovereign Lord. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.